first thing I want to do is thank everybody for coming out. The turnout is amazing. The Triple Deuce appreciates it. We've got a big mission coming for us in June. Uh, we just really thank the community for coming out. You'll see a lot of soldiers here. Some of them are civilian clothes, some of them in uniform. There will probably be more here. The reason there's not a lot is because they have like seven weekends left before they're gone from their families for an entire year. So those are kind of cherished weekends and perhaps they had things planned for that already. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to thank Mr. Tyner for releasing this eagle and the blessings it's going to bring upon us. I don't know how much of you guys know about the history of the Triple Deuce, but we got back in, 90, in 2006. We're pretty lucky that we didn't lose anybody. And if we think that there, there's no divine intervention involved there, we're crazy. We know better. And we can use all the spiritual help we can get. But there's a tradition that goes back to World War I with a, what they call a challenge coin. And what they were used for initially was paratroopers would get shot down behind enemy lines and the only thing they would keep to symbolize they were in the United States Army was a coin. It has a thousand meanings since then. That's where it originated from. If you guys are bored and you have Google, you can look it up and get more answers. But I want to give those one of these to Mr. Tyner. Thank you. And thank, thank him and Mrs. Tyner too. <laughs> Mrs. Tyner's coming up here. Oh, she's up there on top of that rock. <laughs> Take it for her. <laughs> and I'd also like to bring up Ray and his wife. Ray. Come on, Ray. Come on up here. <laughs> Ray was the gentleman that actually found this bird and led to it being rescued. I'd like to thank him and his wife as well. Thank you very much. Hey, Captain. Retired Master Chief, United States Navy, right there. Retired Navy, we won't hold that against him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I got. All I'd like to say is I don't thank want to you. keep you guys there all along because that bird's going to go crazy in there. As I really, really want to thank you guys for coming out and the support you give the Triple Deuce. We feel it, we know it's there, and we really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, a little bit about what we do and about the eagle that we have. The eagle is a four-year-old bald eagle. And um, th this particular eagle was found in Baker Reservoir. Um, uh, Mr. Ray, Ray Maker, he was uh, hiking around with his dog. His dog found it. The eagle was uh, completely submerged except for its head. Above the water, it was drowned. Called the sheriff's department, called the fishing game and they brought the eagle to me. I, I am the wildlife rehabilitator here in southern Utah. Our organization is called the Southwest Wildlife Foundation and we're your local wildlife rescue group. This particular eagle when he got to me, severe hypothermia and his lungs were full of water. The eagle had given up and was laying there just wishing to die. Well, I wasn't gonna let that happen. Uh, I stayed up all night with the eagle, keeping the eagle moving. I wouldn't allow the eagle to sleep because if he had fallen asleep, he would have just died. And so I spent the whole night with the eagle in my arms. Um, the eagle, by morning, could stand. Within a few days, uh, could perch. Uh, it took me about a week, uh, a little over a week, to get him to where he'll, he would actually eat on his own. He's now feeding himself, flying back and forth across the chambers, and he's very upset that he's in captivity. And so we're very glad that, that we're going to just cut him loose. The story of the eagle. I was very fortunate uh, to have been able to spend a good deal of time with uh, one of the Paiute spiritual leaders, his name was Clifford Jake. And Clifford Jake told me the story of the eagle. And the story of the eagle was that the eagle was once human. And that the most noble and courageous of all of the native peoples was called by the great spirit to come sit in council in heaven. Where this noble individual said, oh, well I can't sit in council in heaven because I cannot fly. So the great spirit turned him into an eagle. And the eagle was given a calling. And the calling that the eagle has is to remain on earth by night, collecting the prayers from all of the people of the nation. And then by day, to carry those prayers on its feathers, on the, on the currents of warm rising air up to heaven and deliver them to the great spirit. And to receive all of the blessings from the great spirit and bring all of the blessings back down to the people of the nation. And he went on to say that when a Paiute person sees an eagle soaring overhead, they see that eagle as one of the great eagles and that the eagle is watching over them and their family personally like a guardian angel. And I thought, what a wonderful explanation as to why eagles are sacred and why I've dedicated my life to doing this. 
And so now you have an opportunity to understand how beautiful these animals are. This ground right here is some of the most sacred ground on Earth. The Parowan Gap, we have some of the world's most beautiful petroglyphs here. And so to the native peoples, this is very sacred ground. And we, and we always try to treat this ground with tremendous love and respect, um, virtually like going into a church. So the Parowan, Parowan Gap is just an amazing place. And what a beautiful place to release an eagle. Now, again, many people, not just the pious, but many people all over the world believe that if you say your prayers with an eagle feather, the eagle feather will carry your prayers to God. This eagle has over 7,000 feathers. 7,000 prayers. The Triple Deuce is leaving um, the first part of June for Iraq. They can use all the prayers they can get. And so as the eagle is released, please think of the Triple Deuce. Think of the other soldiers that, that are currently serving in far off places and away from their families. Let's send prayers on the wings of an eagle. In our way, we, we um, reverence the eagle. Um, we, we have our whistle, our eagle whistle, and when we blow that whistle, it's the prayer to our Creator. And that eagle is our intercessory, our mediator between us and God. And uh, the eagle is a, a mighty bird that flies closest to God. And when we see the eagle, we bless ourselves. And uh, when we see an eagle like this, who's brought back to life and brought back to health, it's a blessing for all our people. And we reverence the eagle in a, in a special way.